Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2015 Suzuki Vitara. So long as you haven't got a, a, a mobile connected to the system and you just click the house there, get onto the home screen, you've got call here, no phone connected. If you click on no phone connected, it brings up a list of devices that are actually connected. And as I say, so long as you've nothing connected, your phone's not connected, if you then click on that, you then click on the receiver at the end here like so do you want to unpair barry's iphone 13 pro yes that's it it's gone okay i'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the bluetooth audio system in this 2015 suzuki butara uh, first of all we need to make sure that bluetooth is on so basically you go to settings bluetooth there bluetooth's on and then we're going to be watching out at the bottom. I've got rather a lot of things connected by Bluetooth to my system. But then from home, sorry, from the home screen, you see there no phone connected. If I click on that, it says add device. Click on add device, start pairing from your device, search for my car and enter pin 3963. So my car's come up here, click on that. It's actually generated a random pin code, which it quite often does. Um, so there we go. That's the same. 3985. Yep. And pair. If you do it from car to device rather than device to car, then uh, it, it generates a random pin code. So that's it. It's connecting now. Let's just try and find it. It's called My Car, isn't it? Where has it gone? My Car connected. And that's it, it's, it's connected on the, uh, the car now. Okay, I'll just show you how to stream audio or play music from your mobile through the audio system in this 2015 uh, Suzuki Vitara. So if we go to the home screen, you'll see there, the, the top left hand corner, it's, it's quite confusing really, because here, there you've got your, your phone which is paired, there it says no smartphone linked, and nothing seems to happen if you if you press this or anything else so the audio if you go over to the audio here and click on that again there doesn't seem to be anywhere where you can change the source or the media which you usually need to do in order to listen to music however i'll go back to the the menu screen if i now go to music i click on a <clears throat> a record here I'll just turn it down. You'll see at the bottom there, my car, there's actually a tick next to my car. That should mean any audio that you play through your, your mobile will come through the system if you have it set right. So I'm gonna click play. Watch out on here, I click play. It's changed to music. If I turn, if I turn this up here and then there, You see there, it's, it's changed again to Bluetooth Bon Jovi knocking on heaven's door. So that's it. That, that's the, I, when I first jumped in it without reading the instruction book, which I never do, I would have assumed it would show up here and, and, and I was messing about with that. But it actually comes on automatically if your phone's paired to uh, the system. So that's how you play music. I hope that was clear. Going back on, on that through my head, it, it didn't seem very clear. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav in this 2015 Suzuki Vitara from any screen. If we click the home button here, you'll see there you've got your Bluetooth there, your telephone there, and guidance here. So if I click here, no guidance at the moment. If I click there, in the corner there, you've got new address, points of interest nearby, points of interest search. So what I want is new address. City postcode, there we go. And we're Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, Howe Walton Preston, PR 54EA. Click OK. And now you'll see there, it looks like a road. Click on that, calculating route. Make a U-turn if possible. We sat on the forecourt, so that's it. 
again, not not very clear. I mean, you would think they'd put like something like go or start route, but instead it's just a, a black and white symbol of a motorway.